At the age of 13, Jake was diagnosed with leukemia. The first question to come out of my mouth was, will I still be able to be a firefighter if I get past this? But this story is not about leukemia. Me and Jake, uh, we first met on September 11th of 2011. Um, I was working at 65 Engine. We were coming back from a run, pulled into quarters, was standing on the apron, and the door was up. Jacob just happens to walk up with his mom. So we start chatting, and he starts telling us his story. Thinking back to the day I was actually diagnosed, uh, uh, it was a Monday, I can remember it pretty clearly. I, I'd gone to the hospital for, for blood tests, uh, and that, that's all I really thought it was. And, and then uh, family members kind of started showing up one by one. Jake was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, a rapidly onsetting form of cancer, which begins in the bone marrow and spreads through the blood. With cancer, the first thing you think of is death. So the first thing I thought was that I was going to die. They actually took me straight into uh, the chalk ward. So this was the child oncology ward where, where they give all the cancer treatment. And I wasn't allowed to leave. I had to get blood transfusion straight away. And as the treatment went on, I was in an isolation room. I wasn't allowed to leave. I was six months in there. Um, and I remember clearly it was so tough for me to, to do anything, to focus on things that would make me feel sick. I couldn't play PlayStation like a normal 13-year-old. I couldn't eat food like a normal 13-year-old. Even socializing with someone for half an hour would take it out of me. I'd have to have a two-hour two nap after that. It was, it was incredible. But during Jake's six months in the isolation ward, he discovered one thing which kept him captivated. It's my time in hospital. Uh, I watched this, this documentary called 9-11, which uh, followed the New York City Fire Department uh, in general, but happened to be filming on that day. But I remember the only thing I could focus on while I was in hospital was this documentary 9-11. When I'd watched it, I'd watch it at least once a week, if not twice. When I watched that, that's what gave me the strength to keep going through and stay so positive through my treatment. Through Make-A-Wish New Zealand, Jake and his mom flew to New York, where he toured the city's firehouses. Yeah. Hey, Chief. Good, to you. good to see you. Always good to see you, Chief. I remember something like eight years ago when I first met Jake and he came to fire department headquarters. At that moment, when we met each other, we had this sense that both of us have gone through something really difficult. And in almost an instant, we became friends. Jake and Chief Pfeiffer are still in contact to this day. Uh, so eight years down the road, the wish has turned into far more than just one day for me. Uh, it really has changed my entire life. If, if it wasn't for Make-A-Wish Foundation and for the New York City Fire Department, I would not be in, in the position I'm in now. I've got a family here at 21 Engine and, and in the third division here. Uh, they all just treat me amazing, like, like another fireman. So this wish has turned into a, to a lifelong thing, which has enabled me to take the test for the New York City Fire Department. I took the test in September of 2017. So uh, that, was, that was my ultimate goal, and that always has been my ultimate goal. So seeing Jake now, and seeing that he, he's in remission and his dreams of being a firefighter, it, it just makes me smile um, and feel very, very privileged to be part of his journey. Uh, to Nick, and Robin Boyle and Roz, thank you so much for all the work that you guys put in for, for this wish to make this come true. Um, it's been absolutely incredible and what you guys have done has been a huge part of where I am today also. Uh, without you guys, it would have, wouldn't have been possible. Thank you for all the work that you guys do for other wishes as well and other kids and uh, changing other people's lives. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. It's absolutely incredible work you've done. Second to none what the fire department does for people too. So thank you so much. Because of Make-A-Wish and its hard-working volunteers, Jake has been able to pursue his goal of becoming a firefighter. Jake is waiting to hear back from the FDNY about his test.